John? Is that you? Yeah. Hey, you should announce yourself. It makes me nervous. Where'd you go? Out. <laughs> Maybe you need to think a little less about disrespecting me and a little more about getting Michael Corinthos under control. I'll handle the Michael situation, like I've said. You make me miss Claudia. You really do. Don't start. Your sister was a treacherous bitch, but at least she had a spine. Oh, Claudia, go ahead. See where that gets you. <laughs> a sign of life. This can only bode well. I'm gonna handle the Michael thing the way I want. You got that? You've already made things too convoluted and attracted too much attention. I'm just trying to help you. You're trying to take over, and it ain't gonna happen. So just go tend to your roses, huh? There is only so much disrespect I'm willing to tolerate. Disrespect? What disrespect, huh? This is my house. We're gonna do things my way. You wouldn't have this place. You wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for me. You groomed me to run things. That's exactly what I'm doing, so you're gonna let me run them the way I want. My own son. Listen, my disrespectful child. If you don't get a lot more aggressive with Michael, he will never come over to our side. Ooh. Maybe it's the lovely Lisa. <laughs> My day just got better. Hey, what's going on? Mr. Zakara, just the man I wanted to see. Hmm. Who is this? Forgive my father gets a little confused, especially in the mornings. Yeah, well, I wanted to make sure that he's complying with the terms of his release. Roses? Did somebody say roses? You can drop the crazy old man routine. Uh, maybe I'm old and maybe I'm crazy, but I never got drunk and then got behind the wheel and killed my son. Hey, listen to me. One more word, I'll drag you back to prison myself. Father will be happy to come down to the PCPD and answer. Me? Why did you let him in? Why shouldn't the police attack me in my own no, home? Nobody attacked you. Okay, uh, not you to interfere, afraid. but should somebody else be handling this case? Johnny, if he arrests me, will I get the same special treatment his father got? Nobody's going to arrest you. Oh, nobody arrested your father either. He's still out there, drunk and free as a bird, but your son is six feet under. Here, That's enough! Shut him up or am I? You should take a lesson from him. It would be wonderful to have a son like you, so kind, so forgiving, a drunkard's dream. You really want to do this? Too bad for the kid, though. I'm sure it happened quick. He probably never... Ah! All right. All right. I apologize on my father's behalf. He keeps talking that way. I'm going to snap his neck. Hey, if you're this close to the edge, maybe you shouldn't be working, huh? I'm going to let this one go, but next time you need to talk to us, contact our lawyer. Let's go. The guy just stuff. lost his kid. I didn't make him go back to work. I didn't invite him over to attack me for no reason in the privacy of my own home. You provoked him. It didn't take much. And now we have leverage over a police detective. You see the way it works, Johnny boy? It's all about knowing what buttons to push. Cowboy? Oh, man, you know what? We've already done this. I'm not supposed to be speaking to you. You want me to keep walking? No, it's fine. Whatever. Man, sometimes I can be so arrogant. You know that? What do you mean? I was following up on a guy who was released from Pentonville under questionable circumstances, and I ended up attacking him in his own living room. That doesn't sound like you. Yeah. You want to know who I hit? You might appreciate it. Sure. Anthony Sakara. That's my boy. <laughs> 
believe I let him provoke me that way. I can't believe he's out of the slammer. So this money must have changed hands. Yeah, he was doing his old crazy old man routine, saying all kinds of things, and I, I should have just let it bounce right off, but I couldn't. Why not? He was talking about you. I've heard him? Uh, not really. I don't think so. Any witnesses? Johnny was there. I don't know if he's going to do anything about it, but... Well, he'll probably side with his father in the end. <sighs> Unlike me, right? No, I didn't say that. I know you felt like we were all ganging up on you at the intervention. That's not what it was. I promise you. Well, what I understand, what I know, is that you are trying to get through an unspeakable loss the best way you can. This isn't just about me. Alcoholism is killing you. Whether you can admit it or not, I mean, there's only so much your body can take. You're not invincible, okay? It's a physical reality. Sooner or later, the booze is gonna win. I don't see it that way. You know, there's a strange part of me that respects you for sticking to your guns like that. Which is probably my cue to leave because I, I can't afford to think like that. No, no, it's okay. No, it's not. This is why I can't have contact with you. I'm, I'm not trying to hurt you or punish you. Uh, obviously, I want you to get help, but even more than that, I'm trying to save myself. Christina Davis, are you busy? Can you meet me at Kelly's? Yeah, it's really important. Thanks. Hey, Christina. Hi. Do you have any idea where this came from? Uh, no idea. Um, some kids were in here earlier. Maybe they dropped it. Mm. What is it? Hide your coat on. You don't want anything to do with it, trust me. Yeah, no, I'm good. Just for today. 